Now tell me, uh, with the Enterprise Image Repository, can you give me an example of a new feature that's been introduced with the product? Key new functionality that we're delivering with McKesson Enterprise Image Repository is retention management. This is the ability okay. to delete data once it's past its legal retention period. Uh, and those retention periods are, of course, varied, uh, as varied as the number of facilities that may be out there. So within a single instance of Enterprise Image Repository, there may be several different rule sets that need to be applied. And, and uh, retention management allows our, our customers to deploy uh, one set of policies or even multiple sets uh, given the nature of some uh, facilities spanning state lines for example. Uh, ultimately the application provides the ability to uh, configure the rules according to the policies that have been established uh, to it, to place certain patients on hold so that uh, special circumstances can be uh, observed and their data retained despite the policies. Okay. Uh, and ultimately to go ahead and initiate the deletion of the data that uh, the policies have identified as uh, uh, pass the retention period and legally uh, allow them to remove that data from the system. Uh, this does two things. It, it not only reduces the risk associated with that data mm -hmm. that is no longer required to be maintained, but it also frees up storage that those images uh, resided on. Uh, it, it frees up that storage for use by additional studies that are coming in. And in this way, the growth of storage over time can be reduced uh, to the point that th there will always be more coming in than going out, but at least the growth is slowed as a result of removing the older data that doesn't need to be kept. Okay, I can see that's a, that's a feature that the CIO is going to like immediately. It's an opportunity for him to save money again in his budgets and uh, keep those costs under control. Now, with all this data being accumulated in, in, a, in a managed archive, um, it's going to get pretty big pretty quickly, I think. Uh, and, uh, and I think it's going to be important to provide tools to manage that. So does Enterprise Image Repository provide some new tools to allow the administrators to kind of manage it, keep control of it, and, and know how the system's performing? Absolutely. As systems grow larger, the need to have insight into those systems becomes that much more important for those that are managing them, not just the vendor that provided it, but the, the actual users and, and uh, the IT and departmental folks that are looking into these systems. As a result, we've uh, provided an application called System Dashboard with mm -hmm. Uh, McKesson Enterprise Image Repository to provide just such information. Uh, there's an ability to see the connectivity of uh, McKesson Enterprise Image Repository with the various uh, components within it, the servers, as well as with the uh, systems that are connected to it. Uh, it also provides insight into the processes of McKesson Enterprise Image Repository to understand uh, what exactly is running on an individual server or component of the system, the, the health, so to speak, of that component, and to observe uh, the uptime, so to speak, of all of those. Okay, so that's a set of tools that will help the users of the system manage the system themselves and, and support the system themselves without having to rely on, on uh, you know, get, getting, on, getting on the phone and phoning McKesson if they really don't need to. Absolutely. One of the characteristics of our customers going in this direction is that they're looking to take more ownership and more management responsibility of their system and rather than having a lot of obscure in behind the scenes types of tool sets we're, we're making them accessible to those uh, those customers that are looking to understand the state of their own system rather than relying on uh, uh, McKesson. So now that Enterprise Image Repository is available uh, how is McKesson introducing the product to its own PAX customers, cardiology and radiology PAX customers? 
McKesson Enterprise Image Repository is going to become very accessible to our Horizon Medical Imaging Radiology customers immediately. Um, what we've done is we have replaced the PAX archive within Horizon Medical Imaging as of version 11.9 and forward, and in its place, uh, our customers will see McKesson Enterprise Image Repository going forward. Uh, this is something that is going to be very easy for them to access uh, through uh, a, a very routine type of upgrade from previous versions to version 11.9 without requiring any forklift platform updates or uh, migration of data. McKesson Enterprise Image Repository and all of the functionality and capabilities that it provides will be uh, immediately available to Verizon Medical Imaging customers so that they can make use of the functionality that I've described, retention management, system dashboard, uh, as well as the ability of the option to incorporate additional data into their existing system in a very cost-effective way as opposed to needing to establish and build a brand new system from the ground up. They can make use of the investment that they've already made into Horizon Medical Imaging. That makes a lot of sense. Well, thank you uh, everybody for joining us here at uh, SIM 2012 and uh, for hearing our story about the new McKesson Enterprise Image Repository product. For more information about the product, go to allaboutpacks.com. Uh,